I'm Claire Ashmore. I'm Parker A's Chief Operating Officer and a main board member for uh, the BCO. I'm also national chair for the mentoring programme and I am delighted to say that I am joined by Katrina kostik Seyman, uh, who is the Director Head of Workplace Strategy and Design for uh, KKS Savills and obviously our immediate past president for the BCO and the brainchild um, behind our mentoring programme. Um, Katrina, just wondered, could you give us a little bit of a background on to where you know, where it all, all started and where your passions lie behind uh, launching the program. Thank you, Claire, very much. Um, it's really a pleasure to see how far you've been able to take it in this last year. Uh, the, when I first began this, it was about two years ago, and I was very, very keen to, in my president's year at the BCO that I uh, push for diversity and inclusion, number one. Uh, and really number two was all about change, to change and keep relevant the BCO. And three, most importantly, was about the next generation um, of our youth coming forward in the industry. And I remember clearly uh, as a young one, long time ago now, starting in the industry. And um, I was very fortunate to have um, a couple of two very special mentors to me. And I wanted to make sure that I left a legacy for not only myself, that I come in contact with every day, but really everyone that I come in contact with at the BCO and in the industry in general. So this was sort of an idea that I had about literally speed dating, if you like, for senior members of the BCO community to have give of their time a moment to, um, to help the young generation that we're interested in, in joining and to hear their stories. Oh, well, we're really, really grateful. And it's been an amazing 18 months, I think. I've loved working with you on it. It's been, uh, it's been a pleasure to be involved. And of course, this year has been very difficult um, for the next gen. Um, obviously, we've had all the furlough schemes and redundancies. And um, I was amazed and really delighted to hear that the BCO has actually, you know, honoured that anybody who has been furloughed from the next gen, that they can continue uh, to be members, which is which is amazing. I was really well. We don't want to lose them, um, and obviously, the, what could happen if you're fur furloughed or lose your job is that your membership would uh, cease to exist because you don't belong to that company. And because of the GDPR regulations, we're not able to keep the data on file. So it's really important that anyone out there that is a current member of BCO that might get furloughed or let go. Uh, just to know that your membership can continue to please get in touch with the BCO uh, either through this mentoring scheme or generally through membership uh, and still participate. You'll have a wonderful opportunity with everything going virtual online now to keep up with your networking, to keep up with your peers, to keep up with tours uh, and the awards, of course, that, that we started on Monday and Tuesday and still have three more nights to go. Oh, well, oh. I'm sure there's uh, lots of people who've been involved in involved in those over this past week. Um, taking on this virtual theme, um, obviously it's quite difficult at the moment for the mentoring program. At the, what we've done previously is have the live events. Um, so we are having to take it virtual. Um, so what we are doing in the week commencing, I think it's the 30th of November for that week. First week in December, we are running a series of um, mentoring uh, programs across the nation. So it's uh, every, every region is gonna be involved with this that we're really, really pleased to announce. Um, over the next sort of two, three weeks, you'll be seeing a lot more uh, social media items about it. So we really want people to come forward and take advantage of doing the mentoring program. And we'll be telling you a little bit more about that as the time goes on. Um, so what do the mentors get out of the programme, Katrina? Uh, the mentors themselves, uh, and uh, from when I first started this, as you know, 18 months ago, and you were at my first one, so thank you for that, Claire. Um, I talked to so many of them afterwards, and initially they weren't sure whether to participate, but the mentors actually, I think, even got more out of it than the mentees, because it reminded them of their early years, it reminded them that we have to talk and bring up um, the younger generation, they were asked interesting questions, very thought-provoking questions, and they 
were really chuffed to to give something back to the community. So I found it was extremely rewarding from every, all the feedback that I received. Um, and I'm sure that you you felt the same way after the first one. I've loved doing it. I've, I've met some amazing people and made friends out of the mentees equally as actually, uh, you know, being a mentor myself. So you, I think I think it really is an equal thing that you get out of it. It's lovely. Um, as far as the mentees are concerned, what we're offering is uh, a, a year's mentorship from some amazing people. Um, you get four uh, main communications, so face-to-face, obviously now it's going to be probably VC to VC. Um, uh, but then beyond that, we can give you extra support as you may need. Yeah, it's really important to build up and ask those questions that you may not feel comfortable in a, in a larger forum or somebody within your own industry or your own firm. But really, Claire, to like you did, you know, to offer up your personal experiences of return to work, uh, working mother. Um, you know, how do you balance uh, child care with, with a demanding job? How do you rise in the industry as a female or whatever the the situation is i think what i wanted to do is to make sure that young people could ask any question really and this is really an opportunity it's not to sell yourself for a job interview um this is not to to be advertising for for that this is really to ask the mentors to give you of their personal time um about their character their personalities or questions that you might not be able to ask somebody else so over the next few weeks, we'll be hearing from some mentors. Uh, we'll be putting bios up um, of every mentor across the nation. You'll also be hearing from some amazing mentees and what their experiences have been. Um, but please do take us up on this. It is something hugely important at the moment. Um, we are here to support you. Uh, and we, we very much like to. We understand the importance of this at the moment. So thank you so much for starting this, Katrina, and for, you know, allowing me to be part of it. And um, yeah, please get involved, everyone. Well, Claire, I just want to say a big thank you to you and to the BCO. What started as sort of an idea, a crazy dream, a crazy speed dating in London, so to speak, is now a national program. Uh, and we've had the buy-in of the other regions. So it will be participating throughout the UK. Uh, that first week of December, starting the 30th of November. So as Claire said, please get involved and um, just a big thank you, Claire, for taking this on.